Pocophone owners have been getting promises of 4K60, super slow-mo, 960 frames per second video, along with night mode photography features. And recently in the latest MIUI 10.2.2 update, those features officially came to the Pocophone F1. Hi, my name is Mitchell. If you're new to my channel, I make videos about the tech I use, things like cell phones, tablets, cameras, and drones. If you're looking to purchase a Pocophone F1, I have $20 off through Gearbest, and I'll leave all my codes and promotional stuff in the description down below. Also, if you're on Telegram, you should join my Telegram community. That's where I post a ton of content. I answer questions. My fans will go ahead and vote for what videos they want to see. And it's really the best way to continue the conversation about the content that you see here on YouTube. Okay, let's go ahead and turn the cameras around and look at the phone. Okay, now here from the home screen, we're going to just jump directly into the MIUI camera app. And the first thing that you guys will see is slow motion. Now we do have the option for 960 frames per second, 120 frames per second, or 240 frames a second. Now, as you can see with the 960 frames per second, that's only available for like 10 seconds of time to get that. Uh, whereas the other 60p options on here or other high frame rate options are still available. For your night mode images, we have a dedicated night menu here. And now for video, you can see we have all of these new video options on the POCO F1. We have UHD 60 frames a second with image stabilization, H.265. We still don't have any of the higher frame rate options available in the Google camera, which is kind of disappointing because I would love to see some of the new updates uh, in the Google camera. But to see Xiaomi improving upon the camera capabilities of the Pocophone F1 even after launch is great. Okay, let's go back up top. Okay, as you guys can see, the update for the camera really added a lot. The Pocophone F1 stock MIUI night mode, obviously not as good as Google's night sight. And if you wanna see more videos comparing the Google night sight to the Xiaomi night sight, I'll go ahead and I'll have a card to that linked right up here. And I'm also thinking about doing a camera review for the Pocophone F1 uh, where I go over the stock MIUI camera. I show you guys what we have with the Google Cam and just overall talk about how these software updates have changed the imaging experience on the Pocophone F1. Okay, till next time, it's been Mitchell coming to you from Hanoi. Peace.